this is going to become a regular occurrence. We don't sign anyone for weeks and weeks on end, and then we sign a few players in a few days. This is an interesting pattern to, to do things, isn't it? First it was Dennis Serkin, Kirkin, Gherkin. Still not going to get that out of my head. And now it's Frederick. Is it Frederick? Uh, Frederick Alves? Um, as you can see from the title, Sunderland have signed West Ham centre back Frederick Alves. Um, for some reason, I'm thinking I'm getting that pronunciation wrong, so I apologise if I am. But um, we've signed him on loan for the season. Um, um, obviously, you're kind of getting this reaction late um, to me, from me rather, because I've been on Thane's channel when we've just done the live show, and that broke while we were on air. So obviously we just came off air, so Thane will be doing the video on his own channel. Go and watch that if you haven't uh, checked it out already. Uh, and like, comment and subscribe on this channel if you wish to, it would really mean a lot. But you guys know what the score by now. So without further ado, let's get into the statement from the club. Frederick Alves has signed for Sunderland AFC on a season-long loan. The centre-back, who moves to the stadium alike from Premier League side West Ham United, becomes the club's fifth signing of the summer transfer window. Born in Denmark, where he spent the majority of his youth career, the 21-year-old enjoyed two years in Brazil between 2015 and 2017 before returning to Denmark to sign for... Silkborg IF, probably got that wrong, so apologies. Alves made 18 first team appearances during the 1819 season as Silkborg won the second tier title whilst featuring 16 times for the club's return to the Danish Superliga. After making 50 senior appearances, the defender touched down in London January 21, joining West Ham from an undisclosed fee and signing a three and a half year deal. Alves also featured for Denmark at youth level, earning three caps for the under 20s and five for the under 21s, representing the latter at this summer's UEFA Europe. Under-21 Championships. Following his arrival, Alves said, It feels very good to be here and I'm looking forward to learning the English style of play and playing matches, so I'm very excited to get started. The Sullen fans can expect a football play in centre-back. I like to play football a lot, but I'm also a physical player. I will do everything I can to help the club and I'm ready to give 100%. Lee Johnson added, Frederick is a player that we have followed closely throughout the past six months, so we are delighted to welcome him to the club. He's a high-quality footballer and under-21 international, and this is a great opportunity for him to continue his development at senior level. Having experienced first regular the first team action in time in Denmark. He is good on the ball, tall and mobile, and we now have real strength and depth in central defence. So as normal, there's the statement. Um, I will quickly say the reaction to this. Um, similar to Dennis Serkin, um, when we signed him from Tottenham during the week, um, there was a few Tottenham fans that said they were gutted that he was going. Um, obviously in that case it's different because it was permanent, whereas this time it's on loan. But um, <clears throat> when, we, when me and Thane were doing our live show, we had a comment from a West Ham fan called Jack. I think it's Jack, so apologies if I've got your name wrong. Um, but he basically says something along the lines of he's good, he, he should be playing in the championship. He, they rate him that highly. Moyes likes him. Some West Ham fans I've even seen on social media, and yes, yeah, social media can be a fraction of a fraction of the fan base, but some people on social media were saying he's good enough to be a squad player for them right now. Now, if this is, if this is the type of calibre we're going for, then being patient was indeed worth it. I do still believe that fans, including myself, that were getting a bit restless over a lack of signs, I still think we're right to do so, because they wanted our players to be better than early. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But, nevertheless, if this is the type of signing we're going for, then fair play. Now, this, this now, Alves strikes me as a mixture of someone who likes to bring the ball out from defence, a ball-playing centre-back, but also is quite physical. Now, that sounds very similar to Callum Doyle, actually. I'm not saying, that, obviously, look, Man City's academy is going to have way more facilities of it than West Ham. West Ham will probably be quite a good facility, to be fair. Um, good progress for development players. But regardless, this seems like a good step for him for his career. And bear in mind, with Alves, he's only, I would imagine, similar to Serkin. He, well, actually, to be fair, no, Alves has, has played a decent standard of football, I'd like to think. But um, it, the League One is going to be a test, without a doubt. But we'll wait and see whether we can cope with it or not. Um, what do you guys think of the signing? Obviously, this is signing number five. I think Alves... It wouldn't surprise me in the near future if Alves is playing at right back because we haven't got a right back. And um, so, if say Alves was signed as a centre back, we need two right backs, another left back, and another striker. And um, if he signed as a right back, then we need another centre back, left back, right back, and a striker. Um, and that's assuming nobody leaves, by the way. But there you go. There's still a few weeks left of the window. What do you guys think? Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, as I said earlier. Love and leave yous. I'm travelling down to MK Dons tomorrow. We're really looking forward to it at the time of recording. Um, and there you have it. See you all later. Love you lots. And take care as always. Bye-bye.